all kinds of crazy things happen at the uh, boys basketball tournament. And uh, again, we're going to look at the Hopkins uh, game from last night. And you talked to some of the players after. Yeah, we did. And uh, you know, Shakopee actually had a chance to win in one of the overtimes. We don't uh, really see the highlights here, but the, they had their opportunities. In the end, as you saw, Hopkins, of course, wins it. Hopkins boys basketball teams have played in their fair share of exciting and close games through the years. But a lot of the guys on this year's teams had no state tournament experience. Well, they got. A good share of it on Thursday night. The Royals facing Shakopee in the 4A semifinals. And a quick start for Hopkins in this game. The Royals get out on the break. Jacob Wright's layup makes it a 7 to nothing lead. But back comes Shakopee. Booker Copeland with a three-pointer ties the game at 12. And it's turned out to be a back-and-forth game. Second half, Wright will bury a three-pointer. He scores 18 of his team's first 29 points. And the Royals lead by five. The Sabres, though, get good inside play from center Tyler Weiss. He leads Shakopee with 19 points. Final seconds of the second half. Tie game. Amir Coffey curls into the lane, and his floater to win it is off. And this game goes to overtime. And then it's the waiting game. Much of the multiple overtimes are spent with Kamali Chambers holding the ball near midcourt as Hopkins tried to draw Shakopee out of the defense, and that didn't happen. So we fast forward to the final two seconds of the fourth overtime, and you probably already know it's Coffee's 55-footer that beats the buzzer, sending Hopkins into a frenzy and the Royals into the state title game with a 49-46 win. Here's what Coffee and Chambers had to say after the game. Right. Um, you know, that actually wasn't the play that we drawed up, um, but uh, we were expecting them to come up, but they stayed back in the zone. So, uh, you know, I just went to go get the ball and uh, threw up a heave and prayed the guy that I went in. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Uh, you know, I didn't think it was going to go in, but when it went in, uh, the exhilarating feeling is amazing. It was good. It was relieving. Um, that was actually very, I'm happy he hit it. But uh, a couple, we actually shoot a little bit of those in practice. You know, him and Trey, they're the best half-court shooters. <laughs> they, uh, they goof around a little bit in practice. They throw a couple up. They make a lot, but I'm glad he made that one. And the team that the Royals will play Saturday night also won on a buzzer beater. J.P. Vincura's last second three sends Lakeville North into the title game for the second time in three years. Tip-off Saturday at the Target Center between Hopkins and Lakeville North is 9 p.m.